Hola everyone, it's Lindsley, this is Kitchen in the Pink, and today we are making sangria. It is so exciting, it's a great drink, and it's so much more uh, fun than just regular wine, a bottle of wine, So and so easy to make. So, I'm gonna make a white wine sangria. This is in honor of my mom who spent years in Spain and loved sangria. Let's begin. All right, two bottles of white wine. I'm using a Behringer Pinot Grigio. It's a medium priced wine. You don't need to use the highest priced wine for sangria because you're obviously going to mix it with other things. Put that on in there. Oh, yeah. And it's nice because if you're going to drink a lot in the summer, which, you know, if you're having a barbecue and it's hours and hours of fun, you want to make sure that people aren't completely boozing it up. I'm going to add that one beer. Trust me, just add it in. This is. A great beer, oh, my spout is on. This is a great beer, it's an um, IPA. One beer goes in there. Perfect. Oh yeah. Okay. Now, we add to that one bottle of Hella Reno. This will lighten it up a little bit and make it good. Oh yeah, all goes in there. And then last but not least, we're gonna add some rum. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add one cup of rum. This is a light rum, since it's a white sangria. It's a, you know, it looks, obviously looks better. You can use dark rum if you like. Now we're gonna add our fruit. You can add whatever you want. I am doing sliced strawberries, so it's one pint of strawberries, and I just took off the um, stems and have them. And then I also am doing grapefruit. So I just slice the grapefruit um, lengthwise and then cut them in half, so they're little moons, half moons I should say, and you throw that in there. And you stir that up. Now, some people add sugar. I really don't see the point. There's already sugar in the alcohol. There's sugar in the fruit. So if you really have enough sugar in life, come on. Really, people. And now we're ready to serve. I'm going to use my scooper for this so it's just easier. You add ice. Ooh. Add a nice piece of grapefruit to give it a little... Pizzazz. Voila, how simple was that? You can make it a couple hours before, keep it in the fridge, but don't make it too much ahead because this thing will get a little funky after a while. Salut. Oh, delicious, refreshing. Enjoy, if you would like the recipe, go to ladiesinthepink.com. Bye.